Before starting the experiment on the incandescent electric type system, many memorandums were drawn up as to a general system that would permit of the subdivision of the light into small units analogous to gas jets and with commercial economy superior to the pervading gas system. The rough models that if it was to be successful, all the units must be worked in one class. This necessitated the creation of lamps of very high resistance to diminish the enormous investment in copper necessary if low resistance lamps were to be used. The necessity, the, this necessitated a very fine hair-like filament of high uh, resistance material. On October 21st, 1871, numerous experiments resulted in the production of a small unit lamp of comparatively enormous resistance. The filament being under conditions of great stability, after the result, I knew the problem of post commercial solution. While these math experiments continued, other parts of the devil system was actively experimented upon. The dynamo, as then invoked, was extremely in inefficient. The laws approaching 50 percent, due to some misunderstanding among electricians, which I never comprehended. However, this, these experiments produced a dynamo of which 90 percent of the energy was useful. Then meetings for measuring the current were used by thousands of customers and, and also a host of accessories like underground conduits, switches, sockets, etc. were necessary to make a complete system of distribution, all of which was accomplished.